Today I wanted to share with you why I do not recommend the keto diet or intermittent fasting to ladies in their 50s, 60s or 70s who want to hit their health and weight goals for life. Reason number one is that research shows consistently that dieters gain the weight back within a year or less, over 99% of dieters. And in fact, 30% gain more than they originally lost. And I know I can relate, comment below if you can relate, back in my dieting days, this used to be my story again and again. Now, reason number two is that diets are just not sustainable for most people in the long run. If you don't want to quit bread and pasta and potatoes for the rest of your life, or if you don't want to quit having dinners with your family or breakfast for the rest of your life, then I would not recommend keto or intermittent fasting. Because if you cannot easily maintain it for the rest of your life, you're going to lose the weight only to gain it back, which was my story for decades with dieting. So that is why I do not recommend the keto or intermittent fasting for ladies in their 50s, 60s or 70s who want to get healthy and lose weight for life. Now, reason number three why I do not recommend keto or intermittent fasting is because many of these fad diets are not based on sound nutritional principles. Let's take the keto diet. It advocates eating a lot of animal products, dairy products, a high fat diet. And this is proven by the research to be correlated with increased risks for diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, high blood cholesterol, inflammation in the body, arthritic pain, and even increased risk for cancers. Now, let me tell you, that is pretty much the laundry risk of what we help our members with. So if you tick many of those boxes, then I would not recommend the keto diet for you. My final reason why I do not recommend the keto diet or intermittent fasting for ladies in their 50s, 60s, and 70s who want to get healthy and lose weight for life is that one of the reasons why it's difficult to lose weight and easy to gain weight during perimenopause and after menopause is that our metabolisms actually slow down. And these fad extreme diets like intermittent fasting, which are based on dramatic calorie reduction, actually enhance that damage. They slow down your metabolism even more, which is the last thing you want at this moment. So that is my top reasons why I do not recommend the keto diet or intermittent fasting.